Hi everyone, this tutorial will demonstrate how the webtesting.io Web UI automated testing platform integrates with the popular Selenium IDE. Webtesting.io is able to directly import test cases generated from Selenium IDE. I just finished recording a test case in Selenium and now I will import this test case into webtesting.io. The first thing I need to do is go to the Microsoft Excel webtesting.io macro enable workbook and click on the open Selenium test case button. Now I need to locate my Selenium test case file on this machine. When I open the Selenium test case, look what happens. As you can see, the data in the Selenium ID environment matches the data in the webtesting.io Microsoft Excel template. For example, the test case populates a base URL cell with the base URL that I defined in the Selenium ID environment. The command, target, value columns are also populated with the data captured in the Selenium IDE test case. The commands imported into the webtesting.io Web UI automated testing platform are the same commands recorded in the Selenium IDE environment, which means webtesting.io also understands the same Selenium IDE commands. You will also notice additional columns to the right hand side. These columns will allow me to run Selenium IDE generated test cases using various browsers including Microsoft Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, and Mozilla Firefox. PhantomJS, Safari, and Opera are also available, but we will not run those browsers during this tutorial. I can also instruct webtesting.io which browsers to simply use by typing run above each browser's pass fail cell. I can also tell webtesting.io to not run a particular browser by typing do not run above that browser's pass fail cell. I'm going to move my screens around very briefly to give myself more room. Now let's run the test automation process by clicking on the start automation button. This automated test will perform a regression test against a Magento-based website's guest checkout process. So let's get started. As you can see here, each test element is being returned in real time from webtesting.io Selenium driver. Now we just ran the Internet Explorer test case. Everything came back successful. Now let's run Google Chrome. And let's finish that checkout as we did with IE. And as you see here, we're going through each test one by one. And what you see on the left-hand side is matching what you see on the right-hand side in terms of test execution. Our last test will be using Mozilla Firefox. I will make this a little bit longer so you can see this a little bit better. And please be sure to keep an eye on the left hand side how Excel template is being updated in real time. And so we're about done with the last test. 
and we're done. All right. So let's see what's happened here. So everything came out fine. All of our open commands came out perfectly fine on all the browsers. The click and wait for the hyperlink Chelsea T worked perfectly fine. Everything looks great. We did even a, an assert text test example, and that worked fine. And with all webtesting.io tests, we keep track of our metrics. 75 test scripts and 75 test scripts passed. None failed, and we received a passing score of 100%. That concludes our tutorial for today. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please contact us at info at webtesting.io. Thank you again.